Hello, it's Maureen Legas here with your 21 Days 2017 series, and today is Day 11. We are going to continue our website discussion, um, the website that's powered by Playster for KW or NAR. Um, and KW, we go to your MyKW dashboard under Technology, go to KW Websites, and that's how we're going to access it. Today, the discussion is going to be on featured listings. So if you have listings, how to feature your listings. If you are, for example, if you're a luxury agent and you want to build out your luxury Playster site, how to feature just luxury listings on that site, um, and, and how to put listings if you don't have listings how to feature the right listings on your website so i'm going to click go to my website and i'm going to take a look first at what the website looks like here um, let me show you where the featured listings show up on my website so i'm on my website and i have these tabs across the top and under listing search, I have team listings. Now that's because I'm going to show my listings. Um, if they weren't mine, if they were featured listings that I'm selecting from the search, then I would call them featured listings. You don't want to give the indication that they are your team listings if they are not. The other thing you can do if there's agents in your office that are okay sharing listings and you want to display theirs, they may be okay with you calling them team listings. I would send them a request uh, via email so you'd have in writing that you're requesting to display some of their listings and you would like to call them team listings. So depending if they're your listings or listings you have to, uh, permission to display, you might call them team listings, otherwise you want to call them featured listings. So let's go back to the Playster site. Once here, I'm going to click to edit site. And then when you are in the site settings section, right here will be all of these options. There's pages, blog posts, there's other options too, but we're going to start with site settings and come down to featured listings. So I click featured listings and what this is, let me see. Oh, hold on a second I want to show you the main site first I have two sites here I have a luxury site because I'm a luxury member and my main site so I want to show you the main site first and show you then what I did for the luxury site so on the featured listings on the main site I have the MLS IDs for myself and my business partner and that's the only criteria um, highest price first no other criteria I click search so right here you put your agent ID if that doesn't show up here where it says add search criteria drop down and go click on agent id now it's not letting me hover over that because i already have it up here but you would come down agent id and you would click to add and then you put your numbers in there and that shows the listings that we have on our team right now um, so when that shows up here i'm going to go back to the site and look at team listings those listings will show up here now I have my site set up not to show rental listings one of those listings that I have is a rental listing so it's not going to show up on this list this the listings showing up here are those that are active and those that are pending and so those are showing up on your site okay so what if you're a newer agent and you don't have listings well you would send an email request to agents that would be okay with you sharing their listings on their site which I would think would be okay because the IDX will share it anyway so these listings appear on sites the IDX Internet Data Exchange is how listings show up I'm gonna go back here when I do a listing search and I'm gonna search for properties that might not be my listings I'm gonna search for all properties let's say I'm gonna search here for um, zip code let's say I want to look for listings in this zip code 370 listings show up well they're not all mine because um, there are um, properties that belong to other realtors and this is furnished to our websites by IDX so if you want to share listings talk to other agents and ask them if you could borrow their MLS ID and you would put it here under the agent ID and their listings would show up on your page under featured listings or team listings however you want to call that um, right here under menu that's where I select 
where do I have the listing search? Team listings, when I click on that, I can call it team listings or I can call it featured listings. You change this name and that name here under menu and under each of these boxes is what shows up here on the drop down. You see I have a little arrow indicating that's the next item. The reason I do that is because some of my menu items are multiple lines and so I want to put an arrow so they know where the next one begins. So on your menu here is where you would change that from team listings to featured listings and then you would go to the bottom and save it. Okay so let's go back to, I'm going to continue, I'm not saving that, let's go back to featured listings and when I click that I have the listings for my team. If I choose not to use that, let's say I take this off, I can select criteria to find listings that I want to appear on my site. So let's say I want a certain location and then let's say I want a um, certain location. I'm going to add that criteria, zip. I'm going to add a certain price point minimum price, add it. I'm going to add maximum price, add it. And let's see if I want to add property type. Property type. I'm going to add that. And then I go fill it in. Let's say that I focus on 34212. I want that zip code. I want the buyer that I want to work with in that zip code. I want to be in the 300 to $500,000 price point. Let's say that's the buyer that I'm most comfortable working with. Let's say that's the sale that goes through the quickest. And then property type, I want residential, not any of these others. And then I click search. And it's going to show 157 listings. That's too many to show under featured listings. You want it to be a reasonable amount of listings. So I'm going to continue to add search criteria. Maybe I'll change this from 300 350 to 450. Let's see if that tightens it up. These are listings that I want to show up as the um, featured property on my site. So it's searching and 84, so that's a little bit better. Let's see what other criteria I can add to take that down to a reasonable number of listings. Um, the days on market, that is here as an option, but it doesn't seem like in certain areas that information is being fed from the uh, through the IDX to the Playster site. So you can try that, but I haven't found that to be uh, uh, available on every uh, MLS board. It is not necessarily Playster, it's the board feeding that information to the IDX that feeds Playster. Okay, let's see. Um, neighborhood, that could be a possibility, let me add. And let's see what neighborhoods show up here. So there's um, Greyhawk Landing, might be one of the neighborhoods that is in that zip code. So let's say I pick Greyhawk Landing. And let's search and see if that's the right Greyhawk. So there's four, so that might not be enough. So let's see if there's another Greyhawk that can show up. Greyhawk Landing West. I don't know if that's in that particular zip code. Nope, see it's still four, so I'm going to remove that. So you want to keep playing with some of the, um, let's see. You want to keep playing with some of the criteria. Let's see if this shows up. Um, in, that, in that location until you get maybe um, not two listings, but maybe not 70 listings. Some amount of listings that seem reasonable. And... Um, you keep adding to these and see if when you search, see there's only two, you want to come up with maybe 10 listings. And then once you have that, you want to come and save it. So let me go back here real quick. So I added some information so that I come down to about 13 listings. And then when I click to save this, and go back to my site and refresh it. Thirteen featured listings show up. 
and those are listings in that price point. Remember though, I have team listings here. So I'm going to come back to my menu. I'm going to change the, the uh, cap, the header on that um, team listings to featured listings, even though featured, even though this still says team listings, the label that shows up is going to say featured listings. And I click to save it. I'm going to come back and refresh this. And I see the 13 listings. When I roll over here, it's called Featured Listings. So that's how you can identify which properties to show up on your site. Now, when I did this under Featured Listings, it's showing up a zip code, price point, and neighborhoods. I added some neighborhoods in here that's in that, that, that are in that zip code. Well, that you don't have to adjust. If one property goes off the market, another property comes on the market, it'll automatically find in these neighborhoods, in these price points, in the zip code featured properties. Now once you have your own properties um, that you've listed, you can come here and remove the neighborhood, remove the price points, remove the zip code, and then the property type, add your search criteria of agent ID, and then add your agent IDs back and search and those listings show up and then save it. So then you can um, put in your own me to refresh this and it's going to show my personal listings, six featured listings, and then I can go back and change it to team listings. So I hope that makes sense. So what if you are, let me go here, team listings and change this back to team. Um, so what if you are a luxury agent and you have a regular site like this and you also have a luxury site. When you come into your uh, uh, Playster um, website right here under site you will have options you'll have a secondary site now I've started to set up this secondary site as my luxury site and so my featured listings here now become specific for luxury I have 21 listings and I had to play with criteria here in order to get the right price points the right number of listings in the price point that would show luxury and so on this site if I want to look at how that looks, view live site. So on this, um, oh, I didn't add it, one second. Okay, so if I look at my featured listings now on the luxury site, it's going to show 21 featured listings that are luxury listings. And so if someone is going to send you a uh, luxury uh, client, you want a site that shows that you're luxury. But if you are having clients that are not luxury, you also want your site that shows regular listings that are not luxury listings. So um, the luxury luxury agent will have these two sites to build out. I'm um, going to click on sites here, and here are two sites that you'll be given. One would be your regular site and one's luxury. So make sure that you build out your luxury site. Um, let me go again to edit the site. I'm going to show you under Featured Listings here. Let me see if I can increase this. I just picked uh, certain zip codes. Let me see. Certain zip codes, uh, certain price points, um, certain criteria in order to narrow it to the 21 listings. And again, when I look here, there are 21 featured listings. So you go through the same process that we did when you were adding uh, to your regular page, if you're a luxury agent, do the same here. This is dynamic, so as listings come and go out of these zip codes and these price points, they'll change on your website as well. All right, so that's the featured listing information. We're going to continue tomorrow and talk about the different themes for the websites, then move to slideshow images, um, and, and continue on for the rest of this week. All right, hope you have a great day.